My name is Patrice McLaurin. I'm an author, image activist, and educator at heart. I hail from a small town called Bessemer, Alabama, and I have been working to educate and empower young people for the past two decades. So I write children's books, but specifically within that children's book genre, I write picture books. Um, my first published book is titled, Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? And it's also the book that I am most well known for. Um, I often tell people as bubbly as this book may be, it was actually birthed out of trauma, right? Trauma that manifested itself as Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown and Tamir Rice and Jordan Davis, right? These were all black boys who were tragically taken away from us far, far, far too soon, right? So I was inspired out of that tragedy to create a piece of media that would humanize black boys, right? My thoughts were, if I could write a book that would help children of all ethnicities to actually identify with and empathize with black boys, then that would actually aid in those children's ability to exercise compassion towards black boys and black young men as they grew into adulthood, right? My goal was to normalize the black experience and I wanted to do it in a way that would highlight black excellence, right? I'm thinking that this would actually help to mitigate some of the extreme and tragic circumstances that we were experiencing at this time. So I figured I'd highlight black excellence, right? By demonstrating some of the significant contributions of black people to the world through invention. I know that it may sound cliche-ish, but I draw my inspiration from children, right? As I stated earlier, I really am an educator at heart. And each of my books are an embodiment of some type of lesson that I like to teach children, right? Our children are our future. And I try my best to embrace the teachings of Frederick Douglass when he tells us that it is easier to build strong children than it is to repair broken men. My biggest accomplishment to date, right? Outside of being a best-selling author, outside of having an international presence, has actually been my impact in the educational space, right? So like I've worked in collaboration with um, the digital platform Everfi in the development of their latest Black History curriculum. Um, and my books have been used to supplement STEM and social emotional learning curriculum across the nation. In fact, my title, Have You Thanked an Inventor Today, in addition to it being a bestseller, it was also acclaimed by Microsoft as a book that inspires and promotes STEM, right? You know, furthermore, we like offer um, different lesson plans to accompany each of the books and we do this so that we can heighten the lessons to be learned from each book. So this makes my educator heart burst with excitement, right? Because I think about the idea that my message of black excellence um, is actually being used to disrupt racism in the classroom. And so to me, to date, that has been my greatest accomplishment. My Thinking Inventors series um, actually has the biggest following. Um, it consists of the following titles. Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? 
Here's that title here. Have you thanked an inventor today? So that series consists of this book. It um, also consists of the title, Have You Thanked the Kid Venter Today? And I tie up that series with my Thank an Inventor coloring and activity book. So that's this series has actually been uh, my most successful series to date. I actually would say that two of my greatest influences are Nikki Giovanni and Julius Lester, right? So Nikki Giovanni, I can honestly say, maybe single-handedly made me want to write poetry, right? And it was after reading two books by Julius Lester. The first one was called Why Heaven is So Far Away. And the second one was called What a Truly Cool World. It was after reading these two books in particular that I said to myself, hey, I think I really want to do this. So fun fact about my Thank and Inventor series, um, the character in the series is actually based upon a picture of my son, right? And the character in my title, I Am Because I Choose, this little guy is actually based upon one of my best friend's son, right? And so none of the characters in my book um, have any dialogue, but their mannerisms are actually based upon most of the little black boys I know, right? Because contrary to popular opinion, black boys operate in high character, they love to read, they practice excellence, and they pretty much behave just like all little other boys and girls do. My advice to other authors would be to write what's in your heart, right? but also consider the intention of your writing before you release your work, right? The thing about storytellers is that storytellers have this unique capacity of shaping ideologies. And this is a very important fact to be mindful of, right? I would also encourage authors to remember that their voice deserves to be heard so don't allow yourself to be silenced right and this can very easily be a byproduct of the traditional publishing system because they're going to publish what they want to publish and they might not find your voice compatible with the message that they're pushing at that moment but your voice deserves to be heard and your story deserves to be told so always remember that My experience working with Ingram Spark, particularly as a first time publisher, was amazing. Um, they do make the process almost seamless. It's rather easy. You know, they, um, they're cost effective, which is good. And they also provide templates that actually simplify the book layout process. So that's great. And furthermore, the idea that your book is available for distribution to over 39,000 retailers and that some of those meet retailers are the major retailers like Amazon and Barnes and, Barnes and Noble and Books a Million. This is a fantastic addition because it allows you to actually compete and stand tall against other traditionally published books because you actually have that same access. So working with Ingram has, it's really been um, amazing. It's been an amazing journey and they've done a lot to help me on my author path. I'm really excited about my upcoming release because it is completely different from anything that I've done thus far, right? The title of the book is Dandy McLion Has Her Say. And though the character is a dandelion, it's actually written in the voice of a girl. So that's different for me, right? Um, the book has dialogue and that's different for me. And it's also a hybrid of three of my favorite subjects, which are STEM, social emotional learning, and character education, right? So basically in the book, 
Dandy McLion does not like the idea that dandelions have been given this bad reputation by people, right? Because people refer to dandelions as weeds instead of flowers, right? And she feels that because of this false labeling, that dandelions are not treated with kindness and respect. So she works to resolve this problem by using her big and powerful voice to share with people some very amazing facts about dandelions. And she's certain that once people hear these facts, that they will definitely change their perception of the dandelion. And in them changing their perception of the dandelion, it can ultimately change her world, right? So now here's the question. How many of us have been mistreated because of a false label that's been placed upon us, right? Well, this book deals with that and you get to learn some fun facts about dandelions all at the same time.